Hi, everyone. I want to go over some free resources to help you pass the LOTE. So I'm going to share my screen. So in order to pass the LOTE, it's really important to prepare for, prepare for all domains, which I talk about in a different video. But this Texas NESINC manual is completely free. You can get it at the Texas NESINC site, which is the same site where you go to register. Then you can click on all of these different resources and get listening practice, reading practice, writing, speaking, pedagogy practice, and everything. For most people, it's not really enough to pass the test. But what if you don't have any money to pass this test? I'm going to show you what you can do for free. Now, of course, it takes longer when you do it yourself. But if you don't have money to pay for a course, this is what you can do. So first, you want to look at all of the domains and competencies, right? So if we scroll down here, here's for domain one. You want to look up information about theories and processes of interlanguage development, including predictable patterns in second language development and factors affecting the time required to learn a language. So at that point, I would go to Google and I would Google interlanguage development, find things about Larry Selinker, right? And then Google patterns in second language development and factors affecting the time to require language. You'll have to do the same thing for all of these descriptive statements. For both, for all of competency one, two, and three. So you would do the same thing there. Okay, so that's for that one. For listening, you need to find lots of good listening comprehension in Spanish. This is not enough. This is just a little bit of listening practice. You can Google free listening comprehension in Spanish with quizzes. It needs to be at an advanced level. So you need to find things at an advanced level, right? And there are lots of good ones. So free, advanced, listening comprehension in Spanish. What you're gonna deal with is things with a lot of ads, right? So you can find it, but you're gonna to have to deal with ads and, and um, some a little bit of aggravation, but you can find it, okay? So that's good. Next, you need reading comprehension. Same thing, you can find some free ones online. They're not gonna to be totally aligned to the test. A lot of them will just have three choices instead of four, so they have A, B, C, and not D. So they're not quite as challenging as the real test, but if you're needing to save money, that's a free way to practice. For writing, you can practice these three writing tasks. Use Google Docs to check your mistakes, right? It won't be as good as having a real person, but it's a good start at least to check your understanding, right? So that's for writing. And then for speaking, there's three speaking tasks. If you don't have somebody to check your speaking, at least record yourself and play it back and see how you do. So that's for speaking. For pedagogy, there's some free questions here, not a lot, but it's at least a good start, right? So you should do that free practice and you should write a lesson plan and essay and use Google Docs or Word to check your mistakes. It won't be as good as having a person check it, but it's a good start, right? Now there is also a $10 test. That's a good way to see if you're ready, right? It won't check your writing and speaking because it's only $10 but it'll be a good way to see how are you gonna do on the pedagogy? How are you gonna do on the reading and the listening, right? So if you scroll down here and you click on this $10 test, that's a good way. It's not free, but it's pretty cheap to see if you're ready. So if you don't wanna go through all the trouble to find all of your resources and piece them all together, I do have a great way to pass and it's my course in tutoring. We meet on Wednesday nights at nine o'clock PM and I do send the recording so if you cannot make it live, then you can uh, just watch the recording and it has all of the practice you need to pass, the pedagogy, the reading, writing, listening, speaking. You even upload your own assignments to get feedback. You can see it's only $39 a week and that includes all of my feedback on your assignments. So it's a great way to pass and save your time. So you don't have to go to all the trouble of piecing together all of those different resources. But I wanted to share with you a free way to pass in case it's not in your budget. So I hope to see you on Wednesday nights in my course in tutoring and I wish you the best of luck whichever route you end up taking. Thank you.